To see just how this works, I'm meeting John Shelton, an expert in the field of acoustics. In a field. Hi, John. Hi, Richard. Well, I'm here, and, uh, well, frankly, I'm confused. So, first of all, how can you measure these distances? What are we going to do? Well, you know how GPS works? You've got satellites up in the sky that are beaming out signals down to us. Yeah. So, depending upon where we are on the surface of the Earth, by measuring the delay between those signals from the different satellites, we can find out exactly where we are. Because we know where the satellites are and we can measure the delay. Yes, I can get that. That's right. The only problem is we haven't got any pet satellites. So instead of using radio signals, we're going to be using acoustic waves. Noise. Exactly. Yeah, OK. How? So, so what we need is a nice noise source. Ah. I've got my car. I can start it up. It makes quite a racket. Big V8. Is no, I, th I think we can do better than that. All right. It's this. I did wonder. It's in here. It's in here. Let's okay. see. Can I help? That's louder than my car. It's quite handy, isn't it? Huh? Good enough? Yeah. We've got the gizmo over here, and we're going to take this with us, and we're going to be making the noise as we go down and measuring the delay as we go. Are you coming with us, Chris? At 20 degrees centigrade, sound travels at 340 metres a second. By walking away from the truck, then stopping and playing some notes, we can measure the delay between the sound leaving the speakers back at the truck and reaching us. John's computer uses this time difference to calculate a distance. Now! OK, let's yeah. try here. Right, OK, um, go on then, take it away. <laughs> I immediately noticed the delay between Chris playing and us hearing the sound. Let's rewind and check that again. Chris strikes the strings, then there's a delay before you hear the sound from the speakers. The electrical signal travels to the speakers the instant Chris plays, but it returns through the air at the speed of sound. When you get far enough away, the delay becomes quite obvious. John's computer measures the time it takes the guitar notes to get from the truck at A to us at B. From this, knowing the speed of sound, we can work out how far we are from the start. So a half-second delay would mean that we're 170 metres from the speaker stack, our own version of a GPS satellite. Do you? 170. There you go, thank you very much. So although what we've been doing was a bit, well, frankly, odd, if you were watching from over there, probably, but we were using a signal to measure distance. And it doesn't matter what the signal is, we use noise, it could be anything. If you know how fast the signal is travelling, and you know how long it's taken to get from one point to another, then you can use that information to work out how far apart those two points are. You don't need a guitarist. Oh, my God.